What's up? I just got a hold of this arrest report for Aiden Fucci. Fauci. I'm not really sure how to pronounce his last name. But I'm going to read it real quick. On Sunday, May 9th, 2021, at approximately 1,000 hours, the St. John County Sheriff's Office received a call in reference to the missing 13-year-old female. The initial investigation led deputies to contact the above-named defendant, who provided an initial statement. The defendant's story changed several times, but ultimately made several admissions. The defendant admitted to being with the victim at a mutual friend's house and leaving at approximately 1.10 a.m. in the morning with the victim. The defendant admitted to walking north along North Durban Parkway, which was verified with video surveillance obtained from the North Durban Amenities Center, which depicted two subjects resembling the description of the victim and the defendant walking north at 1.14 a.m. The defendant admitted to engaging in an argument with the victim in which he forcibly pushed the victim to the ground, striking her head. The defendant third, further admitted to walking around and got home at approximately 3.30 a.m. The video footage obtained from a home on Saddlestone Drive revealed two subjects walking east on Saddlestone Drive at approximately 1.45 a.m. One subject was wearing what appeared to be shorts, a light-colored hooded sweatshirt, white shoes with a black Nike logo. The second subject appeared to be wearing black pants and a black shirt. The video footage depicted only one subject wearing the shorts and the light-colored hooded sweatshirt walking west on Saddlestone Drive at approximately 3.27 a.m. The subject walking west was carrying a pair of white shoes with a black Nike logo. The defendant was transported to the sheriff's office and placed in an interview room. While alone in the interview room, which was also audio and video recorded, the defendant's mother mentioned something about video surveillance depicting the defendant's carrying his shoes. The defendant admitted he took his shoes off because his feet hurt. The victim was located deceased on the south end of, reten the re of a retention pond located just to the east of the cul-de-sac of Sandalstone Drive. The victim appeared to have significant injury to her head and other trauma as wearing black pants and a black shirt. It should be noted the defendant's residence is approximately 0.3 miles from the location where the victim was discovered, which is consistent with the timeline established from the video surveillance. A search warrant was executed on the defendant's residence where items of evidentiary value were located with the defendant's bedroom which were consistent with clothing observed in the aforementioned video surveillance. Furthermore, some of these items yielded a presumptive positive test for the presence of blood. Based on the defendant's statements, the video surveillance, and the items of evidentiary value obtained from the defendant's bedroom, probable cause was established for the arrest. So there's that, guys. Y'all keep paying attention. I'll try to get more. This is an arrest report for Aiden Fauci, America's greatest country on earth. Y'all have a good one.